college. You know, the place where you choose which career you want to abandon in your 30s. It's also the place where people of diverse backgrounds come together to learn new things. And although the new school year is only just beginning, it might have already ended for one professor at USC. Hey, no. Hell no. Unless you are the lead in a Quentin Tarantino movie, you have no excuse to be saying that word so many times. But yes, USC has removed this professor from his communications course for saying that word in Chinese. The question is, was that the right move? Well, here to help me answer it is our very own communications expert and actual Chinese person, Ronnie Chang. Ronnie, help me out here, man. When, when you speak Chinese, does this word that sounds exactly like the N-word ever pop up? Because I've never heard you use it. Well, I don't know because I don't speak Chinese. Oh, well, I, well, I thought you did. Oh, yeah? Why would you think that? Why? Why well, would mean, you think that? No, because I mean, because no. like... No, no, what? What about me makes you think I can speak Chinese? I, no, I, I didn't mean to offend you, Ronnie. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm just <laughs> no, no, I'm just f***ing with you. Yeah, yeah, of course I speak Chinese. Of course I speak Chinese, man. I'm Chinese. Oh, jeez. Uh, you just, you just okay. see so. Anyway, Trevor, this, this whole thing has gone out of hand, okay? There's no reason to be offended. As someone who speaks Chinese, I can tell you that word is a Chinese word. Wait, hold up. The Chinese invented the N-word? No, you idiot. Racists invented the N-word. The Chinese word, uh, nigga, it, it, it's our word for that. Uh, but when we're using it in a sentence, sometimes we use it when we're trying to think of what we're saying. So it's like a filler word, like um or uh. uh like if I'm trying to remember, hey, what's the name of that restaurant of too many breadsticks? Uh, in Chinese, I'd say, nigga, it's more tanting, nigga, nigga, with too many breadsticks. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm trying to think of the breadsticks, but all I heard was you saying nega, nega in the middle of a sentence. And I'm a little worked up right now. But, but actually, here's my, here's my question for you then, Ronnie. If nigger is like just a thinking word, then isn't that confusing for you when you listen to rap music? Uh, yeah, to be honest, Trevor, uh, sometimes most rappers just sound like they're really unsure of themselves. Like uh, to me, Jay-Z and Kanye didn't know if they were in Paris. Um, in Paris, uh, in Paris uh, we're going gorillas. Nothing makes sense. Well, you know what, dude? I guess this is why people need to talk to each other, you know? Because now we got to the bottom of it as human beings. And I mean, now the solution is clear, you know? It's, if, if, if that word nega is, is a word in Chinese, then, well, Chinese people just have to find another word. What? No, no, f that, Trevor. We're not changing shit, okay? We had that word for 5,000 years before racists stole it. Racists steal their shit from everybody. And now they're stealing Chinese words? How about racists change their word? Yeah, well, you know what, Ronnie? I, I mean, it's not like racists have a suggestion box. What do you want me to do, ask them? Okay, okay, well then, here's another idea, okay? If we wanna teach languages and culture without anyone getting offended, okay? Let's just have a class for white kids, a class for black kids, and a class for Asian kids, okay? And all the classes can be separate, but equal, obviously, and that way no one will get offended. Uh... Ronnie, I think you just invented segregation. Oh shit, you're right, my bad. Uh, but look, okay, you know what? I'm just trying to solve problems here, okay? Because this thing is dividing the black and Asian communities and it shouldn't because we should be working together, okay? Look at what black people and Asian people can do when we're united, right? Uh, Tiger Woods, uh, Wu-Tang Clan, uh, Rush Hour, uh, Rush Hour 2, uh, Rush Hour 3, um, okay, I think I'm making Rush Hour 4, and if you are, please call me, I would love to be in it. Um, uh, the point is, black people and Asian people have more in common than we think, okay? Yeah, you know what, Ronnie? I'm not gonna lie, before we spoke, I, I might have been a little touchy, but I think I hear what you're saying, man, is that, like, as people, we gotta remember there are so many things that are actually designed to offend us, they're intended to offend us, that we've got to try to make sure that we don't get offended by the things that aren't made to offend us. Thank you, exactly. Because otherwise, there's no limit to what can upset you. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you'd be shocked to hear what your name actually means in Chinese, Trevor. <laughs> Wait, what, what do you mean my name? What does my name mean in Chinese? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think we want to say that word. 
publicly, it's uh, it's kind of you know. Uh, let's just say I, I tell my mom I work at the Daily Show with Don Lemon. Okay, uh, it's just safer that way. Anyway, uh, look, I I gotta go. Okay, so nice talking to you. Thanks a bunch. Wait, Ronnie, 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 what do you, what does my name mean, Ronnie?